Welcome everyone to episode 522 of Bullet Freak's Current Call. I am your host, the man that does walkthroughs, playthroughs, gameplays, vlogs, learns to make Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all the stuff man could ever imagine, and that's Bullet Freak 224. Now as far as the game news for this week in here, let's start from all the way to... June twenty seventh. Let's check. Let's check my, my my calendar first. Okay, I can start right here. All right, here we go. Red Bull Red Bull Gaming recently posted an exclusive video featuring Street Fighter Six game director Takayuki Nakayama and Arthur and Arthur the Kaname Fujioka. Oh. Fujioka, who talk about the creation process behind some of the game's new characters. Additionally, the video shows off never before seen concept art of a ver for full variety of characters. Other game's characters, which includes the, the default, which, which includes default as well as alternate costumes. We also get a look at a first concept artwork for the upcoming DLC characters such as Aki and Akuma. Without further ado, enjoy Red Bull Gaming's five minute deep dive video and its entirety below. Below, take a look at a closer look at some of the new Street Fighter 6 concept artwork revealed for Manon, Marissa, JP, and Lily. Okay, the, the, video, the video briefly snippets of many other character content illustrated as much at much lower. Quality, so we'll have to wait a, a little while, a little while to see full size of those versions of those. Also, check out Red Bull Gaming's second Street Fighter Six developer deep dive dev video about the game's bull turn mode. Stay tuned on Fight Generation for more Street Fighter Six news. In addition to their, their, their addition to their developer deep dive video on character creation, Red Bull Gaming posted a new Street Fighter Six. Video showing early footage of the game's open world tour mode. Once again, game director Takuya Nakayama provides commentary which, with, with new insight behind the mode's concept and design. Let's see if we find some information for this. Okay, this time Nakayama is joined by game designer Yusuke Hashimoto, who shares more about world tour mode while new gameplay footage is shown. In the video, the developers also feel that the, the iconic film Karate Kid was the inspiration behind some of the elements of World Tour Mode. Similar, similar to the recently Street Fighter 6 Your Story trailer, the latest World Tour Mode footage reveals several new cinematics and menus that might be new to you. That said, you might want to wait to play the game to fully enjoy these cinematics and intended experience. But if you simply can't wait to want dive even deeper, these Red Bull gaming videos are definitely worth a watch. In another new Street Fighter 6 news posted by Red Bull Gaming this morning, professional Red Bull sponsors Daigo, Gachi, and Bonchan shared their first expressions and expectations of Street Fighter 6. Also enjoy watching Red Bull Gaming's third video of the deep dive series below. Once again, be sure not to miss Red Bull Gaming's character creation develop a deep dive video containing even more commentary m along with the latest character concept artwork in the previous article link below. Thanks for reading and please stay tuned on Fighter Generation for continued Street Fighter 6 news. And this week, Capcom has dropped has dropped has been dropping trailer, trailer after trailer for Street Fighter 6 to, to, to contain the tsunami of new concept like new content rolling in Capcom released the official Street Fighter 6 launch trailer, which includes once again features Lil Wayne. The trailer also reveals a new costume for Yuri Han, which we hadn't seen in Street Fighter 6 up until now. Let's see if we find the information now. Okay, the slogan fighting is, is an art echoes throughout the trailer. Hey, have we heard of this somewhere before? The trailer also, the trailer also reveals a new costume for Yuri Han, which we hadn't seen before yet. Close resuming. To a Street Fighter V liberation. Capcom 2D Fighting 2D Fighting Mastery releases one week on from 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 yesterday on June second, which was yesterday. I forgot I forgot to buy the, I forgot to pick up the bunny the, the, the I forgot to pick up the um the game 
which is which which which, which is disappointing. So I need I need to like, look, look look for another job so I can get so I can buy the game. So anyways, so anyways, take a closer look at what used to be Jury Hunt's nostalgic costume based on her Street Fighter Five appearance in these quick screen grabs from the trailer. Okay, speaking of new trailers, be sure not to miss the Street Fighter VI Your Story trailer along with Red Bull Gaming Deep Dive series featuring Capcom developers revealing more about World Tour mode and character illustration and character creation. See the previous articles below for more on those. Thanks for reading and stay tuned on Fire Generation for more, for, for more Street Fighter VI coverage. And during Combo Breaker 2023, the latest Tekken 8 trailer leaked a a bit early before the Sunday finals of for Tekken 7, Brian Fury has been confirmed as the next character to join Tekken 8. It, as his review trailer is now live. As a Tekken 3 veteran, Brian Fury has a ton of classic moves for that returning re returning players can expect. His Tekken 8 move set is a blend of many of the signature techniques he has brought throughout the series, as well as a plenty of brand new attacks. And an install and a unique install shown in the in the trailer. Brian also have a special intro with Paul Phoenix, based on that old school Tekken Six op open open movie interaction on Twitter. Harada confirmed jokingly that the official Tekken Instagram profile have indeed leaked in the in, in the trailer. Update added the 4K quality version of Brian Fury, Brian's Tekken Eight. Trail above from um, Bandai Namco. During Combo Breaker, Tech A producers Michael Murray and Kasuya Harada went on stage to debut Brian Brian's trailer as well as a new Tech and Eight combo video showing showcasing all fifteen characters. He does he does have a special intro before that, so yeah. Okay, Brian is the fifteenth character to be revealed for Tekken Eight. Bandai Namco still hasn't yet to introduce any new characters in tech, any newcomers in Tekken Eight so thus far. Please stay tuned on Five Generation for updates and more Tekken Eight news. And be before actual gameplay for Mortal Kombat One has shown, I'll I'll the glory fatality the glory fatality sequences in the trailer where the player isn't in control, hence there is no gameplay. A Mortal Kombat 1 Collector's Edition has already popped up at online retailers like Walmart and Best Buy and now available for pre-order. See if I find information for this. And now available for pre-order at Walmart and Best Buy. On Twitter, Ed Boot also shared a tweet showing the creation of Luke of the Luke Kang statue featuring in the Mortal Kombat 1 Collector's Edition by Course, which, which is currently priced at $250 for Xbox Series S and Best Buy. Below are the official promotional images for the collector's edition, also available on PlayStation 5, even though I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. But I will, but I will, but I will try to get one sooner, sooner or later. Anyways, the image below provides specific details on all the contents, include the Mortal Kombat 1 collector's edition alongside the 16.5 inches tall Luke Kang statue and is the premium edition of the game, steel case, collector box, and course art prints. This also provides first details on the game's combat pack, combat, combat pack DLC, which includes an in-game color pilot for Luke Kang based on the statue. As well as a, a, a downloadable a download code for a playable character Shang Tsung and 2,700 Dragon Crystals in-game currency confirmed. The package will be sold in stores on September 14th, 20, 2023. Okay, it was reported earlier this week that Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay with future isn't far away. With, with the game's next trailer set to debut at the Summer Game Fest 2023 on June 8th. See the article directly below for more on that. Stay tuned on Fire Generation for more upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 news and announcements. Back in, back in October 2020, a historic crossover event between Capcom and Osama Setsuka took Form in the way of exclusive art exhibit held in Taka Takarazuka City, Hyoko, Japan, at the famed Tetsuka Osamu Manga Museum. The, the exhibit is set to return once again in 2023 from June 30th to October 29th, 2023. Additionally, a brand new promotional artwork, wait for it, 
Promotion illustration was released on social media to promote the event, featuring a wide variety of characters from both companies. The official press release confirms Street Fighter Six characters will be will be featured in the new in, in the new event. Okay. Unfortunately, there's still no confirmation of a cop conferences or Sonic Tesla fighting game, but the event has introduced some interesting and so, some amazing and entertaining cooperation artwork of to the world. Here's a quick look back at some amazing, amazing crossover artwork from the original cop conferences Osama Tetsuka. Featuring a wall of sketches by fighting game artists including Nabangas, Shinkiro, I love Shinkiro for, for his artwork, Kinu, Kinu Nishimura, Tamio, and several others. Okay, above is above an art an artist wall at the event showcases frame sketches of various Capcom and Samu Tesca characters featured together. Also take a look, also take another look at the cool collaboration piece that Suno and Suno got below, which was cleverly done in the same style as Banga's own Marvel vs. Capcom inspired key illustration created for the event. Okay, at previous exhibitions. Over 100 commemorative items were put on sale for attendees. An official cop conference of Osama Tesla art book released back in April of 2021, which was two years ago, for 2,750 yen, about like $26.50 in US dollars. And it can, and it can be purchased on foodcon.com and other retailers. Also see our previous article below for prior news of the Capcom Versus Osama Tesla crossover and more official artwork. And Weekly Fanitsu and Weekly Fanitsu announced their 118th issue featuring Street Fighter Six on the cover, along with a 24 special feature all about the game. Fanitsu special includes the introduction to modes, character move lists, and a look back at classic Capcom one Cap, Capcom IPs that helped shape the industry. Check out the official. Care, uh, off, official cover art along with some preview pre preview pages inside. Okay, the, cel the celebratory cover illustration of Famous 18th issue by Shisada Mita portrays a variety of Street Fighter 6 characters including all the game's new covers. The issue released on June 1st, which was yesterday. Okay, Weekly Venom is a Street Fighter Special Edition will release on June 2nd to coincide with the game's worldwide release on June 2nd, which is yesterday. Keep your refresh generation for more Street Fighter 6 news and content. And Capcom released a Street Fighter 6 benchmark tool for the Steam version on the official site, which monitors gameplay using the demo and calculates and score indicates your PC's performance. The results of benchmarking will provide a score which determines how well your PC can run Street Fighter 6 in various graphic settings. See if I find any information for this. At the users select the res resolution and graphics choice. The program will then run a full match and walk through of the main of the, of the of all the main modes, battle hub and world tour before providing a score. The performance test takes a approximately seven minutes to complete. Okay, you can download the Street Fighter 6 benchmark tool for the official site. Additionally, those who pre the Steam version can now preload the game so they can so they can play as soon as it becomes available on June 2nd, which was yesterday. Keep your information generation for more Street Fighter 6 news and content. And last of my news here. The latest Street Fighter 6 trailer from Capcom premieres a ton of alternative outfits on for all 18 launch characters. And in addition to showing secondary outfits for newcomers like Marissa, Manon, and Lily in action for the first time, Capcom also reveals beautifully nostalgic classic costumes with the iconic series visuals for the Street Fighter II era. See if I find information for this. For returning, for, for, for returning series veterans, players can unlock outfit number two each character while playing through the game's world tour mode. Alternatively, Outfit number two also can be can be purchased using fighter coins. Watch 
The official trailer below and continue to check out over 20 screenshots. That's a lot. Okay, in related news from yesterday, you can now download the Street Fighter VI Benchmark 2 to test how well the Steam version can run on your PC. Additionally, those who pre-ordered the PC version can now preload the game so they can play as soon as it becomes available on June 2nd. Keep your fight your for more Street Fighter VI news and, and, and content. Alright you guys, that's it for my game news for today. I had, I had a lot to cover today, but anyways, let's move on to my channel update. Um, I did some videos today on, on my phone, so... So last week's episode is still on. It's still on, on, on my camera. I got. I got. I got. Try to get 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 my laptop. I'm trying to get my laptop fixed. I just got. I, I just got. I just. I just got it. So I'm. So I'm. So I'm just gonna go and try to get this fixed next week. So anyways, um, I did. I did. I did some. I did some two. I did two vlogs. I showed off my PlayStation One collection. I have about twenty seven games in it as well. So yeah, I can't can't really complain. And what else? I did, um, wait, hold on. Okay, I did, I did, I did, I did, okay, I did, I did my 11th playthrough on NBA Jam on the Super NES. I'm trying to get, trying, trying to get, trying to get my, my video catalog straightened out. Okay, I did, I did a team, I did both, I did a team album gameplays on Tekken 2 and 3. I also did Power Stone, another Power Stone 2, I did a... I, wait, hold on. Yeah, I did, okay. I did I did two Virtual Fighter two matches. I've got I've got I've got I've got to I've, I've got to do that from 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 last week. But anyways, I did seven Blood Road Proffer matches. I also did a Team Animal gameplay on Tekken two. I also did seven Dragon Ball Z Budokai one matches. I also did another game another Team Animal gameplay on Tekken three. I was I hadn't done any gameplay uh, gameplays on NBA Hang Time, so I did it. So, so I did it with uh, on the on the Super NES. Going to cover, going to try to cover the the Sega Genesis version later on today. I also did I also did a versus gameplay on Power Stone Two. I also did seven Soul Calibur One matches. I did another gameplay on um, NFL Blitz Two Thousand. I I did seven Ultra Street Fighter Two matches. I also did seven King of Fighters Fifteen matches. So lots of great, so lots of great videos that 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 that, that, that they're gonna come on later on. Lots of videos that, that are on my channel right now, but yeah. Anyways, none of those. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my laptop fixed. So hopefully by 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 next week I'll try to take it down to the um to 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 the repair shop straight 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 across straight straight straight, straight across that way. So in order to get it fixed, so I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to re re resurrect my, my my laptop as soon as I can. So if not, I'll just have to get. I'll just have to get. I'll just try to save up my money and, and, and get a new one. So please stay, please stay tuned for more videos in the near future. Yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for another episode of Bullface Current Call. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like on my videos, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go back and watch our episodes. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified for any videos here. And make sure you join my YouTube membership as well for early access to new and unreleased videos. And don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I'm Antenna Online, as well as I have PSN. Until the next one, you guys. Stay connected. Peace.